Praise be to the holy name of the Lord, my dear beloved brother and sister in Christ. I greet you all in the matchless name of our Lord Jesus. The main topic for our morning manna is delivered in trouble. There are two ways in which the Lord delivers us. He delivers us from trouble. He delivers us in trouble. We can find both these experiences in book of Psalm 91 verse 3. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler. In fact, all the verses from the 1st to 14 speaks about the Lord protecting us from trouble. But the 15th verse speaks about the Lord delivering us in trouble. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. What is the differences between God delivering us from trouble and God delivering us in trouble? When God allows a trouble or trial in our life, we must know that God wants to promote us and honor us. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. That means along with the deliverance, a spiritual promotion also comes to us. If we see the lives of Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego, they were not delivered from the fire, but in the fire. God delivered them after they were thrown into the fire and then the king promoted Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego in the province of Babylon. Similarly, God permitted Daniel to be thrown into the den of lions and protected him and delivered him. And then king greatly honored Daniel and proclaimed that Daniel's God was a true God who was to be worshipped by all. In the same manner, Joseph was thrown into the pit and into prison but afterwards he was honored and raised to be the governor of Egypt. Mordecai was in deep trouble and all his people were to be slain. However, God delivered him in the trouble and promoted him to be the prime minister of the great empire. Dear child of God, perhaps you are in deep trouble now. Be of good cheer. Once you are found to be faithful to the truth, the Lord will definitely deliver you and honor you. Trust in God's timing. God bless you all. Amen. O oh, loving God of peace and grace, reveal thy life through me by sanctifying every part that I might wholly be. O oh, let the beauty of thy holiness, dear Lord, be seen in me. Thy purity. Sanctify my spirit, Lord, to seek only for Thee. Make me to understand Thy ways, O baby, willingly. Oh, let the beauty of Thy holiness, dear Lord, be seen in me. Thy purity, humility, and grace no more to me. Thy meekness, peace, and 
Thy holiness, dear Lord, be.